Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how to price a vanilla European auction. In particular, we see how to price a European call and put options on C++. So, to start, let's uh, uh, use the define header to access uh, to some um, already implemented C in C++ mathematical functions such as the exponential, uh, the power, the logarithm and so on that we'll use uh, later on in the computation. So we define use underscore mat underscore defines and uh, yeah now we have to include some uh, libraries such as iostream then fstream then the CMath library, then the algorithm library, and uh, eventually the random library. We'll see later on why these libraries are useful. So first we create our a new struct to create a new variable type called option params which uh, will uh, contain all the parameters used in, in option pricing so for example the first one we call it S which stands for the underlying price of the equity or whatever you're going to price then the new double K which is the strike price of the option then uh, R which is the risk-free rate of the market then a new, sorry for this, uh, a new double V, which is the volatility of the underlying stock, and, and uh, finally the capital T, which stands for the, the maturity of the option. Now we can start by implementing our actual function. We, we return the price, so uh, we return a, a double in particular, and we call it for example, Monte Carlo call price, and uh, in input, uh, since it's Monte Carlo, we need the uh, number of simulations, so we call it nsim, and we keep it constant uh, integer, and uh, of course, uh, uh, a variable of type uh, option params, that is the struct we just created, so const option params and we call it for example p now we write the function first of all as you probably know there are in the equation the, the stochastic differential equation there are two components which are the drift and the diffusion part so which are of course two uh, double so we have double drift now we'll initialize that and uh, then double diffusion. So, f uh, as far as drift is concerned, we know that the the formula is the um, the risk-free rate, so p dot r minus one half, so zero point five. The volatility squared, so we can uh, simply write p dot v times again p dot v and uh, okay let me just correct this uh, okay and uh, now we have the i'm oh, sorry i forgot the all these times uh, of course the maturity of the options okay, p dot t okay now the diffusion part which is uh, the volatility so p dot v times the square root of the maturity so times the square root of p dot t okay now we have uh, completed the drift and the diffusion part uh, as formulas so now we simply initialize a variable for the payoff sum that we need it uh, later and uh, we initialize it as zero so payoff sum equal 0 0.0 since it's a double and uh, okay now the 
the actual uh, random generating part so we need the generator which is uh, simply a random number so and to do this uh, we of course uh, that's why we needed to do some includes uh, at the beginning of the file so std uh, col column column default random ending engine so default random ending in this in the suggestions uh, we call it for example generator which is the random number and now we have to specify which is the distribution we are going to use so std column column in particular we're using the normal distribution of and we need uh, a double value and we call it distribution with parameters mean zero and variance 1 which is in particular the, the standard Gaussian distribution the normal standard normal distribution uh, which is uh, in our case uh, the, the distribution of the Brownian motion in our stochastic differential equation you probably see it or Z or W okay now we have to iterate through all the simulations so we create a for loop, so for int i equals zero, i lower or lower than um, n simulation, the number of simulations, and then we increment i of one every time. And uh, okay, we create our variable z of the brown motion or w as you prefer, and we just need to use the variable we created so distribution which is the standard Gaussian of generator which is the random number we gen generate now new double which is s we call it uh, uh, s forward which is the the forward underlying price which is the the current underlying price so p dot s which is in our uh, option parents variable type times the exponential of drift plus diffusion times our random variable z the brand motion and then we just need to uh, update the payoff sum so payoff sum plus equal so we increment it every time with our payoff. In our case, we are, we are pricing a call option, European call option, and we just know that the, the payoff is underlying price, forward underlying price, minus the strike price. The, the, this, uh, sorry, the positive part of what I just said. So we can take, for example, the, the maximum between S forward minus, minus the strike price K or zero. So I can write it so s forward minus p dot k which is our strike price and zero the maximum between the two values if so uh, we just need to return the price which in our case must be pay of sum over the number of simulations times the exponential of minus the risk free rate so minus p dot r times the time to maturity which is p dot t and this is the the actual price of our call european option uh, yeah we're, we're done for this uh, this function we just need to to test uh, to test it so we create a main okay and uh, yeah for example we set the number of simulation as uh, for example a hundred thousand yeah which is um, quite a default number to to try our function and then we need to create our new option params variable we call it params and we have to initialize all the members of this struct. So, p 
firearms.s, which is the underlying price, for example, we set at 100. Then firearms.k, we set again 100. In this case, we say that we are considering an at the money, at the money call option. Then the risk free rate, so firearms.r, for example, the 5% should be good, so 0 0.05. Then the volatility of the equity market, so for example, the 20% is a good value. And uh, finally, the time to maturity, for example, one year. Okay, now we just need to compute our, our price, for example, for the Monte Carlo call price. We have final underscore to identify that it's a variable, not our function. So, Monte Carlo call price of number of simulation and abstract params. Okay, and we see that now in, in this uh, variable Monte Carlo call price, uh, we, are, we have the, the actual price uh, of our call option with these parameters. Uh, okay, now we just need to print uh, the result. So, for example, we can write the question to, to get a new line Monte Carlo call price and then we write Monte Carlo call price with underscore so it's the variable we get just new line for simplicity and then we return zero since, since we declare int main and, and I think we're done, we just need to test it. So run, start without debugging. Let's see if there are some mistakes in, in our code. Okay, no we've done no mistakes. And as you can see the, from the screen, the Monte Carlo call price in this case with all the parameters uh, we, we set is a 10.3996, for example, dollar or what you prefer. And uh, yeah. We're, we're done for the call pricer and uh, now we just need to to convert our function to to uh, to price a, a full a put option sorry a european put option we just copy and paste the call one and uh, as we see as as you probably know the only difference is here so instead of s minus k we just need to to do k minus s so as p dot k minus s forward and everything is the same an alternative to this is to use the put call party but i mean uh, you can do how you prefer and, uh, and now if we set the the very same uh, the very same parameters here for example we can create a new a new variable a new double to set the Monte Carlo put price underscore as before for the very same reason and then we use the function Monte Carlo put price or we, we still have the call name Monte Carlo put price okay and the Monte Carlo put price of and sim and abstract params and now we can for example copy and paste the C outline so Monte Carlo put price and Monte Carlo put price and here again our variable Monte Carlo put price and uh, we're done again we, we still uh, have to test it so start without debugging And again, we've done no mistakes as you can see, and in the output we can see both the call price, which is as before, and uh, the put price, which is 5.55609. And uh, yeah, in, in this short video we're done, and we've seen how to price uh, both uh, Monte, with Monte Carlo method, both a uh, European call option and a European put option, setting the parameters as as you want and uh, see you in the next uh, C++ tutorial and thanks for watching
and remember to subscribe to, to my channel and like the video. Thank you very much.